This is my first attempt at making a video showing how to use the TI-30XS multi-view calculator to do uh, uh, ungrouped frequency distribution for statistics. So, right from the main screen, just <coughs> to get started you want to enter data. Press the data key. Now I've used it before, so there's a bunch of data in it. To get rid of it, press the data key a second time, and then it gives you four options. You can't see the fourth one right at first, but if you s scroll down to it and hit enter, everything's zeroed out. Then you're free to just type in data into any one of these three lists. I'll just use the first one. I'll make up some numbers. 78, 45, 58, 62, 77, 84. I'm going to enter, let's say, 10 values. 99. 55, 23, and 44. Now, after you're done entering data, I recommend is using the quit key, which is the second, the shifted version of the second key. And then when you want to get results, hit the stat function, which is second data, and it asks you a bunch of questions. We're doing one variable statistics, so hit enter to confirm that. And then highlight the list where the data is. It's in list number one and there are no frequencies which means each value counts one time so you select the word one and then highlight calculate and hit enter and it gives you all the results. The very first one is the number of data values at n is 10 the second one is the x bar the mean value 62.5 the third one is the sample standard deviation it's 22.43 something. The fourth one is if you were doing a population standard deviation, but in this case it wouldn't be appropriate. The fifth one is the sum of all the x values, 625. The sixth one is the sum of all the squared x values, 43,593. The seventh one is the minimum x value, 23. The eighth number is the first quartile, which is 45. The ninth number is the median, which is 60. And then we have the third quartile, which is 78, and the last value it gives you is the maximum x value, which is 99. And it goes back to the top. That's all you have to do. Well, good luck.